What's up guys, here are 13 insane League of Legends world records. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy and let's get into things. Let's start off with a fun one and that is the world record for the longest queue time. This record was set last year by a player named TFT Champion and they had reached a max time of 10,107 minutes and 46 seconds. That is just over an entire week or seven days of queue time. He said during the time of waiting, he just went about his normal life and let it keep running. This all took place on the Turkish server, but the worst part about all of this is that he didn't even get to play a game because it ended up crashing in the end. Classic. Yo, really quick, if you're looking for a new game to play, you need to check out Honkai Star Rail, the sponsor for today's video. Honkai is a multi-platform space fantasy RPG from Hoyoverse that already has over 80 million downloads within the first six months. And recently, it's also been awarded as the iPhone game of the year, as well as Google Play's best game for 2023. And let me tell you, it definitely shows because this game is freaking addicting. Honestly, the first thing I noticed was how good this game looks. I swear it might just be me, but I'm a sucker for this type of art style and it works so well with RPGs. The gameplay is great too because it has a new turn-based system which is really easy to learn at first, but at the same time, it also challenges you as you go on unless you try a bunch of strategies and combos. Plus, outside of the gameplay, it also has a great storyline which really helps bring everything together. Honkai is also free to play and allows data to be synced across multiple platforms like PC, mobile, and PS5, making it the perfect chill game to play anywhere. It has a rich semi-open world experience with a ton of different characters you can play and right now with the new 1.5 update that's out now, they're even releasing two new five-star characters, Ho Ho and Argenti. Ho Ho is a timid wind type support champion that can restore allies' health and provide attacks and energy buffs for her teammates, and Argenti is your classic chivalrous knight type character that does physical damage and has exceptional AoE attacks with his spear and abilities. So seriously, don't wait and go download Honkai now with my link in the description, and if you use my promo code, you'll also receive 50 stellar jades. Thanks Honkai for supporting the channel, and now back to the video. Next is the world record for the longest League of Legends esports game. This took place all the way back in 2018 during the LCK Spring Split, and the matchup was between Jin Air Green Wings and the one and only SKT. The game lasted an insane 94 minutes and 37 seconds, and during the game, one Rift Herald was taken, four Dragons were taken, six Elder Dragons were taken, and nine Barons were taken. What's really crazy is that this game didn't just beat the longest game record, but it also was the catalyst for one more world record as well, most CS in a professional game. Teddy, who was playing on Jin Air, ended the game with 1,465 CS. That's an average of 15.5 CS per minute. Bang coincidentally also ended the game with the third most CS ever at 975. It does make sense though on why Teddy was so much further ahead though because farming on Sivir just means pressing W and on Ezreal it's a bit different. Anyways, still even after all that, the craziest part about this insane hour and a half long game is the fact that Wraith still didn't get his item upgraded from Orn. Now the longest pro game is cool and all, but what about the shortest one? Well, that record was broken in a game between Top Hard Esports and another troll team. No, seriously, that was their name. And this was back in 2019 during the LTL opening, the biggest Costa Rican tournament. Now, the reason it was so short wasn't because one team stomped the other, but instead one of ANT's players DC'd and his team basically decided to open because of it. The game ended in 7 minutes and 30 seconds. The worst part about this whole thing was the fact there was a 50 minute build up before this game even started. I mean, imagine just sitting there for 50 minutes listening to casters and analytics just to watch a game like this. Feels bad, man. Now, you may be wondering, okay, so what's the actual shortest game then? One that doesn't involve DCing, gaming issues, or just trolling. Well, that would be the infamous Vevictus Esports. They're technically the 11th fastest, but they're also technically the quickest ending legit game. For those who don't know, they were the first all-female League of Legends team and during the LCL Spring Cycle, they played Vega Squadron, losing to them in 13 minutes in 4 seconds. Oof. All right, the next world record goes to the longest stream of a MOBA, and this was kind of crazy because it's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. In 2021, a guy named Jarrell Roll from California streamed League of Legends for 24 hours, 27 minutes, and 49 seconds. And what's kind of crazy is I feel like it really wasn't that long. Like, don't get me wrong, that's a decent amount of time, but I feel like a lot of people out there have done this before just without streaming it. So I guess if you're looking for a new world record to break, this could be it. And by the way, if you're curious, who holds the record for the longest stream in general without sleep, it goes to someone named Primetime who streamed for 164 hours straight. That is just under an entire week of streaming nonstop. Now that is insane. Moving on, we've talked about the longest pro game, but what about the longest ranked game? Well, that title was broken back in 2019 on a Singapore server, and it lasted a ridiculous 410 minutes and 12 seconds. That is just under seven hours. You might be wondering, how is this even possible for a a ranked game to go that long. Well, long story short, it was rigged. 
Four of them decided to queue up together at the same time, but in pairs, so eventually they got into a game where two of them were on one team, and then two were on the other. In this case, the Shaco and the Ash were on blue, and Nasus and Vayne were on red. I mean, you can just tell by looking at their names that they all knew each other. Anyways, the most important thing that this little trick meant was that it was now impossible for either team to surrender since you needed a majority. So this game had to be finished through the Nexus. Eventually, as time went on, the other people in the game slowly started figuring out what was happening. And by slowly, I mean it took them like 30 minutes. But eventually, everyone but four of them ended up AFKing, so they kept the game going as long as they wanted. That number was apparently 410 minutes, but I mean, I have to say, I feel like the least they could have done was end on 4 20. Nevertheless, some of the other notable milestones, if you can call it that, was Vayne getting the most ward kills in a single game, since she just farmed wards part of the time, and then Nasus ending with 17,892 stacks. Yeah. By the way, just want to make it clear, I am not encouraging doing this. I am just here to stay facts. All right, moving on. Next, we have the longest lose streak in League of Legends esports. That record used to belong to Victus esports after losing all 28 of their games before getting booted from the league. Also, as a side note, after watching this B-roll in one of their matches, the other team literally rise Nunu ulted them in their fountain. That is wild. <laughs> I mean, it was still a pro game after all. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, as impressive as a record as it was, the longest loss streak was actually actually eventually broken by Janus Esports from the Central American region in 2021. They ended up losing an impressive 31 games in a row. After they finally got their first win, they did go on to have a lot better of a season, but still, I really don't know how anyone's going to beat that record in the future. On the flip side, the longest win streak goes to Flash Wolves, who went on a 28 game win streak back in 2017. Alright, next is the world record for the most mastery points on any one champion. That goes to the player named Chu Ling from the Vietnamese server. This guy has 22,149,405 mastery points on Teemo. For perspective, you earn about an average of 600 mastery points per game between wins and losses, so that's at the very least 36,900 games of Teemo. That is f***ing ridiculous. I mean, just looking at his OP.GG today, he's played 13 games of Teemo. But what's really insane is that this dude has so many points on Teemo that he's actually also the record holder for the most mastery points in the game total at 24,822,758. I gotta say, that's one record that I hope I never have. Next, we got the world record for the most kills, deaths, and assists in a pro League of Legends match. Coincidentally, or maybe not so coincidentally, all three of these records came in the same match during Legends Weekend League 2020. This game was Slaughterhouse versus LB Gerbination. Now the mob for it has unfortunately disappeared, so here's some random b-roll, but in the game King Georgie managed to die 27 times going 227 in 9, setting the record for the most deaths in a pro game. And then on the other side, Meech managed to go 29, 7, and 14, setting the record for the most kills in a pro game. Plus the Morgana support also raked in 50 assists going 2, 8, and 50. Honestly, it sounds like the biggest fluster club game ever. Next up, we have the record for the fastest rank kill in League. This was kind of unfair because it was basically cheating, but not too long ago, there was a bug which allowed Tom Kench to dive into the enemy fountain right after getting into the game. Thanks to this glitch, BK Garbo from the NA server was able to get killed in 16.36 seconds. Now that's pretty ridiculous and all, but I just feel bad for whoever ended up on his team since this dude literally set a world record for running it down. It actually doesn't get much worse than that as far as teammates go. All right, the next record is the longest time in a pro match without a single death or kill. Now, League of Legends pro matches are known to be a lot slower paced than normal games, but imagine watching a game that went on for 34 and a half minutes without anyone dying. Well, that's exactly what happened during an LCK match in 2020 with Bro versus DK. It took over a half an hour and then some for the first kill to be made. And during this one team fight, DK was able to pick up three kills, which also turned out to be the only kills for the entire game. Still throughout all this, I think my favorite part was the out of pocket commentary. This game is so much more interesting now. It's a record breaking oh, wow. game. Record breaking <laughs> amazing game. Record was shattered this game. How many records does Umpty have for the longest things? Well, here's the other two at least. Moving on, we have the record for the longest ARAM game. This game took place back in 2021 and it lasted 3 hours, 10 minutes, and 57 seconds. I have to say that the worst part about all of this though is that some of them still didn't feed the Poros. <clears throat> Anyways, apparently there was actually another group in 2022 that broke this record, hitting 3 hours and 58 minutes, but it wasn't recorded because apparently Riot kicked them out of the game and it turned into a ghost game so there's also no match history. Kinda sucks that after sitting there for 
four hours, you just get kicked out. All right, next up, in case you didn't know, League of Legends has speed runs, and the world record for the fastest tutorial is one minute and 49 seconds. Two players were actually tied for this record. Egg Rollers and Xing Yu both got 149 from the LPL server, but crazy enough, Xing Yu is the official Guinness Book of World Records holder. I'm pretty sure you just have to pay to apply though. Also, when it comes to the actual run, I guess the strat is just to alt Scion right away and then turn into Darius and then just run it down mid as fast as possible. Just in case you want to give it a shot or something. Next, the world record for the most world championships, of course, goes to the one and only Faker, but probably the most decorated player that will ever exist. I mean, look at that. And this dude's still not retired. Now, as far as world's appearances go, before this year, it was actually Doublelift and Jensen with eight. But now, after Worlds 2023, Faker and Deft have joined them, and all four of them are tied with eight world's appearances. Crazy enough, though, Jensen actually holds the record for the most world's appearances in a row, making worlds every year from 2015 to 2022. That's pretty impressive. And finally, the last world record we got is for the fastest movement speed. Back in 2015, Frock and his friends got together and turned Malphite into the fastest champion on the Rift, peaking at 31,102,888 movement speed. Now, how was this done, you might ask? A long story short, they basically set up two Malphites next to each other and had both their teams giving them more and more movement speed buffs. And then both Malphites would use their donuts on each other, or more officially known as seismic shards, to seal movement speed off each other. It created a massive buildup and eventually they were able to stack up to 31 million movement speed and at that point, Malphite could literally flash anywhere across the map. As you can see, he just blinked back and forth. He was even so fast that even after slowing the footage down, he was still just teleporting. Funny enough, they also got this one into the Guinness Book of World Records as well. All right, lastly, here are some honorable mentions that I thought I'd throw in. The player with the unofficial record for the lowest rank ever probably goes to Mido King, who about a year ago managed to get negative 13 LP in iron. Pretty impressive. Next, I know I mentioned him in past videos, but if you haven't heard of him, No Life Finn holds the record for the highest level in the game, and he is currently now at level 4070. And lastly, the world record for the fastest speedrun home from Worlds goes to Gamma Nia Bears. In 2013, they only played two games and went 0 and 2 versus SK. KT. This was particularly because the world's bracket was so crap back then. Still, Golden Guardians gave them a run for their money this year, doing the best job possible these days, going 0 and 3 versus BDS, claiming the overall second place spot, and arguably the first modern day spot. Hey, before you leave, in case you didn't know, last year I made a League of Legends rewind, and I am currently throwing this year's together. But if you have anything you'd like to see in it, please feel free to let me know in the Google Forms below. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please hit that sub button if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Seriously, a giant shout out to my incredible patrons and supporters, we had Goosman set Ryan Hagel, and a huge shout out to my tier 3 patrons, Stefan and Wolf. All of your long-term support means so much to me, so seriously, seriously, thank you all. Alright, bye!